Something that we have spoken about off camera, I know you also have this dream. We actually share a very similar dream for the future. Mm -hmm. um, we both have this fantasy utopia of one day <clears throat> being able to kind of check out from living in um, our more densely populated um, town or city and move towards nature, mm -hmm. move closer to a situation where we can have a house somewhere, a mm -hmm. cabin in the woods, so to say, mm -hmm. uh, maybe some pigs, some animals. Please share that vision with me that you have for the future and how that you aim on achieving that. Yeah, it, uh, in the end, uh, the world that we live in, yeah, it's a uh, it's capitalist world. So to go there, mm, I think you need a little bit of money. So I'm looking for a way to... Yeah, to create a financial base, to, to make choices, to create time, um, to uh, go for it. And in Belgium, the, the logical way to do that for me is by buying a, an apartment, renovating after five, six years, selling it, looking for evaluating your, your situation and then looking for the next step. Uh, I was talking in the beginning of the podcast, uh, moving now to a smaller city. Now we're going there for a house, renovating it. And again, after five, six years, probably uh, we will evaluate. Is this the place you want to live? Does this match uh, our family uh, life, our work life? Is it easy for us to to create the the day to day um, things of life, um, because right now you're making money as a physiotherapist. Yeah, so, and I so took over two years ago. This this practice, so a private clinic. So, yeah, it provides more income that than I can um, provide just working on my own. Mm. There's also income uh, with other colleagues who who work there in this in this building and uh, so what's your idea to stack up currency and then kind of live off of those savings and minimize the money that you have to still spend on things by providing for your own food through growing it yourself and then just like going into that bank account just for the absolutely necessary things I don't or? think you can really make it cheaper uh, on the scale with, with growing your own food, I think that's just fun. I think that my my day-to-day -day life and, and spendings, um, I, I think a lot about big spendings, like a car, a house, where do I live, um, transportation, like the big costs of, uh, of life. And I really try to lower that by making choices, living very close to where I work, so I don't need to pay gas, I don't need an expensive car. But yeah, housing quality in Belgium is, I think, quite easily achieved, very comfortably. So, and it's also something, yeah, um, it's, it's uh, you can, yeah, buy and sell. Um, and mm. if you don't need to rent, uh, yeah, it saves money. And in the end, you get everything back. So it's uh, living for free in a way. In a way. If you are also um, willing to sell at a certain point. Mm. And then in the end, thinking about in every phase, what do I need? Where in my, my living situation do I need one, two, three bedrooms? Maybe with children? Yes. If you don't have children, no. Change. Um, switch uh, I would say um, yeah. my, my, my dream is to get to a level where I can um, produce enough passive income well I guess that yeah, yeah. doesn't make sense to produce passive income but to, to obtain to get to a level where, where I have enough passive income um, with my YouTube channel you know I really mm -hmm. I've had this vision for years I started this and I'm working on this every day because I believe that this is the way forward being able to work from anywhere in the world, open my MacBook and that's, that's it. That's my office. So I feel like in another 10, 15 years, all of this YouTube is going to pay off heavily and just be able to live somewhere remote, like I want to say 30, 30 minutes away from a city or a town. I don't want to be like all the way in the middle of no, like I'm still going to want to be able to go to a town or something every now and then. But that's kind of like the dream, that's the fantasy, where I could then, you know, have this like house in the wild, have a studio, mm -hmm. continue to do podcasts, mm -hmm. 
Man, wouldn't that be something? Yeah, we could start a, yeah, a village, yeah, a small village. But then <laughs> what, are, what are we going to do to ensure that we don't make the same mistakes and, and that we recreate that exact thing that we ended up running away from in the first place? Well, recreate what? Like, so you, you say we can we can start a village, right? And we would do that because we would be tired of the current society. I'm not really tired of it. I just enjoy a lot. I enjoy to have time and a choice in how to spend my time. Mm. I'm, this is a great society to live in. I don't really want to be away from it. Uh, I just want to be able to move in it with... Uh, freedom of movement with the possibility of choosing this morning uh, to be here. <laughs> Absolutely. And you're already taking big steps in that direction. And uh, I think that's also why you, you started your own business and you're, you're, mm -hmm. you are your own boss. So you work very hard, but you're also able to set up your own schedule. Yeah, I love it. That's uh, the main thing. And I think we I can make further steps in it. And uh to really evolve towards, um, I and I like to add a beautiful quote for me that the tragedy comedy of life, um, which um, is well uh, spoken through with a, with a quote from Oscar Wilde, who says, uh, "We have a body and a soul, and our um, our body is a bit yeah." That's the tragic part. It. Um, it is born young and it dies old. Our soul, that's, yeah, that's the comedy. Our soul is, is born old, but dies young. In the way that um, we, during our course of life, if you think about life and what you want, during your life, you really start to feel, that's what I want. But then your body needs to be able to have the energy, the force to go for that idea that you... And in the middle of your life, those two cross. Uh, your body is getting old. 35, your soul 35 is getting young because, yeah, it's ripening. And at a certain point, yeah, you need to make the choice to go for the, the thing that your soul is trying to push you towards. And you still have the power with it, with your body, to go for it. And if you don't grasp it somewhere around, yeah, probably 40 or something, yeah, that will be a tragic comedy, your life. And uh, your body will be old and your soul will fade away. And will never have uh, a true chance to, to be present in your, your life. And how, how, do, how do people do that? How do they figure that out? Yeah, that's a, a question with probably not an easy answer, but um, in a way, society at this point, yeah, it's fully on, yeah, capital, it's cliche, but it's, it's capitalist, it's consuming, it's going in on those, these urges, drinking, eating, traveling, buying, and just... Uh, buying constant positive More. emotions but under that yeah that that needs to be pushed aside a little bit and and then you need to look at yeah you need to create space maybe in a way to to have some time to think and yeah it's i'm talking about at the moment from a luxury standpoint i grew up in a yeah, in a great society and i'm 33 and i have the space to Sometimes take a pause, think, yeah, etc. But also because you've been busting your yeah. ass, working very hard, yes. Yeah. It's it's not just like it's it doesn't just come from your privilege. It comes okay. from you working very hard to build okay. your business. Okay. Yeah, it's a compliment. Thanks. No, that's for sure. <laughs> it's easy to see. Like you went from like what you've built in, in your time period, and I told you this I think two weeks ago. It's very impressive. Mm -hmm. And it's important that you also understand that. Um, you know, only dreams come to sleepers. Yeah. And and you got out there and you took action and that's mm -hmm. why you're in that position. Yeah, so I'm working forward to this 40-year crossroad, maybe a little bit earlier, maybe a little bit later. And yeah, I hope, of course, earlier that you start to, yeah, to 
creates space more and more for yeah for me personally reading but also yeah thinking writing um and then maybe again reevaluating where you live so you can fully go for a nature minded environment uh, full on uh, <laughs> little form i don't know where it will end i have a feeling that we're going to end up <laughs> quite close to where we are now, yeah. as, as we are on the Belgian countryside, more or less. Um, I do feel like both of us still have some, some quite crazy stints left in us. Mm -hmm. Like, I know I do, and I know you do as well. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I'm liable. If I'm living in Peru in two years, that wouldn't shock me at all. Do you need help making better decisions in your life? Are you lacking self-confidence and motivation to get things done? Hire me today and get a direct daily line of communication with me through video chat and audio messages. I operate on a week-to-week -week basis, so no long-term investment is required. Seven straight days of Viking advice will get you right on track. Email me at lorenz.dries at gmail.com and change your reality. I'm ready whenever you are. See you soon.